Hello and welcome to another AIC Productions video. Today I wanted to do a video on keyboards, specifically my Lenovo ThinkPad keyboard. In the middle here we have my T520. I did a video not too long ago uh, upgrading the CPU on this. It performs great. I love it, but I wanted to go over its keyboard. Over here on the left is my wife's X250. I recently got this for her to replace her yoga laptop that was dying. And then on the right is my 25th anniversary ThinkPad. I just want to do an overview of the keyboards, what they're like from generation to generation, and what's so special maybe about the 25th anniversary, since that's kind of the big deal of it is the keyboard. So let me readjust the camera. I really need a different camera uh, with a wider angle lens because uh, doing stuff like this is kind of hard because I was just using a point and shoot and this is as, as wide as it goes. So let me readjust and we will be back in a moment. All right, so we're readjusted and we're looking at the keyboard of the T520, as you can see. This keyboard has more full-sized keys. They go edge to edge on the, the keyboard. They're, they're not the chiclet size. And so nice big keys, easy to find your keys, your home row. Um, the best part is is the feel of the keys as you're typing. They have a, a nice, especially for a laptop, a nice throw on them. They're very satisfying to type on. With somebody like me who's a touch typist, you get a very good accuracy on this keyboard. And, it, and you can use it for a long period of time without uh, finger fatigue, things like that. Which if you do a lot of writing, and I do a lot of writing for my job and also for, you know, just life in general, I, I type a lot. And so this keyboard is excellent for typing. It's also positioned on the keyboard, or on the laptop very well. It's centered. You have the speakers here on the sides. You have the palm rest down here with the trackpad in the center, the nub in the center of the keyboard. And so when you're using it, it's very centered to the screen itself. And so it makes for a very pleasant typing experience. All the keys have a very nice, good layout on it and feel good when you're typing it. So on the 3 series, so the X230, the T430, the W530, they came out with the chiclet style keyboard, which is this one. And it is not as good. Very plain and simple. It's a little bit mushy. You can hear it's not as clicky when you're typing on it. And it's still an excellent keyboard. It's still very satisfying to type on. It is not a bad keyboard. It just isn't as good as what if you came from previous version of keyboard that you had on like the T520, T420, X220. They are a better keyboard. Again, this is still good. Key location placement is still fairly decent, but you've lost several keys. They've been squished down a little bit along this top row here instead of having full size keys for those like the uh, the delete and the home end keys page up page down is basically moved down here you know it just layout changed a little bit keys aren't as wide and it's a more modern style for sure i mean it looks more like a mac keyboard versus a windows or an older windows keyboard especially the old t520 420 w20 uh, 5, uh, 520 anyways so let's go ahead and see what changed with the anniversary edition. Move this one away. 520 again. And here is my 25th anniversary. As you can see, the key layout is almost identical to the 520. So you have your power button up here in the center. You have some volume keys that were missing. A dedicated volume keys, I should say, that were missing on the 250. So... There's the dedicated volume keys. The one thing that this has that the 25th is not is the uh, Think Vantage, which I actually appreciate. This button was kind of a pain. Um, you only ever used it if you were booting up the computer into something other than just booting up into your OS. At least that's the only time I've ever needed to use it for anything. And so with that, with the boot up, they just have you hit enter, which is perfectly fine and an acceptable option. It is not quite the same as the 520 though. It is definitely a shorter throw on the keys, and it's a mix between the mushiness of the 250 keyboard and the clickiness of the 520. You can kind of hear. But it is definitely a better feeling keyboard than the 520. The mushiness is mostly gone. The key size is better. The key locations are better. And it is definitely a superior keyboard. My only real complaint is why is this not on more laptops? Why is it only on the 25th anniversary? It seems like if they could do it for this laptop, they could do it for other laptops as well. Now, let me pull out my Dell. 
Alright, so this is my work computer. It's a Dell. It's a 7390. And it has kind of the worst of all worlds. The keyboard's even more compact than it is on the 250. So it's a physically smaller. Keys are closer together. So if you have larger hands at all, it's a more frustrating keyboard to type on. You're going to have more mistyped keys. You're missing out on some of the larger keys. And then the feel. It is extra, extra mushy. And it just does it does not feel like a nice, clean typing experience on this keyboard. And that goes beyond just the feel of it. This keyboard has a lot of accuracy issues for me. And it's not just me. I work with a lot of people. This is the new laptop that they rolled out. Many people have the same complaint that it just has a lot of issues. Specifically, the one I come across the most is passwords. If you have to hit shift and type a password, it often does not recognize that shift. There's kind of a dead spot in the key that if you don't hit it directly in the center, um, it does not recognize the shift being uh, pressed. So, and you see here how the whole button doesn't get pushed down when I'm pushing down. If I do that on here, the whole button gets pushed down, even if I'm pushing on just the corner. Let's try that on the. Uh, other Lenovo's here. Let's see if I push down on just the corner of the shift, whole button goes down. And on this one, just the corner, whole button goes down. And that way, it doesn't matter where you push on this button, you're going to get the same results from this button every time. This is my Lenovo One, is it One Twenty S or S One Twenty? One Twenty S One One. IAP. And this keyboard is a more satisfying typing experience than on that $1,800 Dell laptop. The keys feel better. I mean, it's still, this is a $150 laptop, so it's not great, but let's try the shift. And it's not as good as the other Lenovo's. Let's try that shift key. I'll bring it a little bit closer to the camera and you can see. See how much that corner, that top corner is up? You can see that the whole key doesn't go down, and so that means misclicked. And I know I'm doing very extreme on the very corner of the button, but I'm doing that on all of these, applying approximately the same force as close as I can. And it, you know, it's it, the whole key doesn't quite go down, but it definitely is a lot better than that Dell. And then we'll have to for the anniversary last one. Whole key goes down. See that? See, this is what I expect out of a premium laptop, is this kind of keyboard. This is just an excellent keyboard. Even this, while a modern style that I prefer an older style keyboard on, this is a modern style, but it's still an excellent typing experience. It's still very satisfactory to type on. I know it's a bit of a rambling video, but I just want to show the difference between the keyboards. If you can get your hands on a 25th anniversary, and you don't need the horsepower of a 4-core processor of the 480 and the soon coming out 490. I definitely recommend picking one up. It is the, probably the best keyboard you can get on a modern laptop. It just, it's really that good. And it's worth the cost, in my opinion. I mean, obviously, I bought one. So, I think it's worth it. And it's definitely a laptop I will, I will always own. My only complaint is right here. I've used it so much in the six, seven months I've had it that I've actually caused the uh, trackpad to get a little shiny there just from the amount I've used it. Anyways, thank you for watching and I hope you have an amazing day.